Well, welcome back, everybody. It's that time of year. Many of you are having parties and get-togethers. It's the Christmas season, and we want to make a unique and memorable experience for everybody. So here to give us some tips on how to have the best party is entertaining expert Lisa McElroy. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Hey, good morning. Happy holidays. Well, you know, planning a party can be overwhelming. Where's a good starting point? Well, you know, what I'm always thinking about is people get really intimidated by the holidays. They think in order to have a good party or a festive holiday, it has to be hard, it has to be expensive, and really neither of those things is true. What I'm thinking about is how to do the things I do every day, but make them special, give them a little bit of jazz, kick them up a notch. Okay. So I'm thinking about making the whole day a special experience. Mm -hmm. So let's take when you wake up in the morning on the holiday. Maybe you've got guests staying over, and you really want to think about how can I even make breakfast from the very mm -hmm. first moment of the day, something special. So I'm going to think about what I'm going to serve. Maybe I have a really pretty coffee cake. And I'm also going to think about the beverages. You know, I'm not just going to put the coffee out on the counter, the coffee pot. Maybe I'm going to make something like a really special latte. So what oh. you can see here is I have this beautiful cinnamon latte. Doesn't that look good? Yes, it does. And it's really easy to make. You just need some milk and some cinnamon syrup and then a really good coffee. A coffee I really like is Millstone coffee. Mm -hmm. It's a really exceptional coffee. They get their beans from some of the best places. And one of the things that's fun about it is you can go on their website, which is millstone.com, and you can trace the beans from where they come from oh, wow. all the way to your holiday celebration. That is so beautiful. I put this together, and now everybody sits back. The day has started. It's very festive. We're having our latte. Mm -hmm. And then maybe I want to make the house look really pretty. Mm -hmm. So here's what I'm going to do. While I'm sipping my latte with my guests, I'm going to give the kids some really easy props, uh, like these decorative boxes I've got here. I've got some ribbon candy. And I say to the kids, go for it. <laughs> now, I don't think that my kids can make my house look like a magazine. And that's not what I'm going for, right? Uh -huh. I just want to make it festive and get them involved. Okay. So I've got my latte. The kids take these boxes, they put them around, and everything suddenly has a pop of color. And now the kids are all excited, too. And I haven't had to do a thing. There you go. Now, that is a great way to keep the kids entertained as well. Absolutely. So now, after I've had my latte, now I've got to think about this big meal I've got to cook. And again, some people get really intimidated by this, right? It has to be massive. It has to be festive. But really what I'm doing is I'm going to make traditional dishes. And again, one way to make my guests really happy is I'm just going to put a new spin on them. So, you know, I've got my turkey and I've got my mashed potatoes. But instead of making regular mashed potatoes, why not go with what I call a mashed teeny? And these mashed <laughs> Teeny recipes came off of the Bob, Webbins, uh, Bob Evans website. They've got this mashed Bob Evans website. And you take a martini glass, and then you can set out a station for your guests to make these beautiful mashed teenies. They can make a sweet potato one. This one looks like a side dish, but you know what? It's a really good dessert as well. So we've got sweet potatoes. We've got some candied pecans. We've got some mini marshmallows, maybe a little maple syrup. Look how pretty that looks. And I didn't have to do a thing. I just set out the ingredients it for my guests. It is beautiful. Those are some wonderful yeah. tips. And we really appreciate you joining us this morning. I wish we had more time. There's so much more we could talk about. But I sure hope that that was really helpful to all of our viewers. Got some good tips there on how to relax and make things fun. And again, give the kids something great to do. Lisa McElroy, thank you so much. Thank you. Happy holidays. All right. Happy holidays to you, too. We're going to go on over now to Chris.